Good morning vlog! It is Tokyo day three and today Michael is busy, he has some plans. So it's just gonna be me and TJ. I am walking to the subway to meet her at Skiji Fish Market. I woke up at 7.45 to meet her at 9 a.m. because where I'm staying is a little bit far away. It's like a 40 minute subway ride. And man, I would only wake up that early for some fresh fish. <laughs> so let's go and meet her. We just had a five different types of uni bowl, which was very good. The matcha was so good. Literally can't go back to matcha in the States after that. But anyway, now we are at this fish burger stall that TJ found. She's filming like a skeegee fish market video for her channel. So yeah, she's just filming the fish burger. I'm gonna take a bite after she's done. Hopefully it's good. It's kind of supposed to be like an elevated filet -O fish like the one from McDonald's. So yeah, we're eating a good amount at the skeegee fish market. This time I'm kind of avoiding those like super popular and trendy street foods like a huge shrimp cracker. Like I tried that at the NorCal night market in May. Obviously I don't think it's exactly 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 the same as the one you can get at the fish market but the line is insanely long like probably hours and hours of wait time so I feel like I could probably just skip it but yeah we have other food planned today one that I'm really excited about is we're going to conveyor belt sushi and I usually don't go to conveyor belt sushi in the states because it's like five dollars a plate whereas in Japan it's like one dollar a plate so I'm hella excited <laughs> All right, we found this bread truck and we saw all these people lined up and they look like locals too, not even tourists. So we decided to line up with them. Bread truck. We're locals too, no, just kidding. When there's a line, line up. Yes, when there's a line, line up. <laughs> look at all the bread, wow. We got the goods. <laughs> Bakery mukbang. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna try one thing because we're full and so full. we can save it for later. So we're gonna try the melon pond. Melon pond. <laughs> You're doing like an Irish music. Yeah. <laughs> California dancing, as you would say. <laughs> when we were at the fish burger place, we were dancing. Oh yeah. We were and then and then the owner, Masa, he was he like, started dancing. he started dancing with yeah. us, and then he was like, California dancing. <laughs> California dancing. Yeah. <laughs> California dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh my mm. god. Not Japan dancing. <laughs> Melon pan. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's interesting. It's not like soft like a Taiwanese bread. Mm hmm. And the crust is like oh, hard. hard. It's like a. Um, a cookie crust, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I rate it three out of five. Oh. Are you not three three out of five? Out of <laughs> I was like, dang! <laughs> Savage! I could agree with that. I thought it would be softer. But I like the cookie crust. It's different. TJ's filming. Oh, it's such an interesting texture. Wow! Oh, gosh. Wow, it's so flaky. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> The crust is so different. Look at how thin and flaky it is. Yeah. Like usually it's not this not thin flaky, yeah. and flaky. It's flaky in a different way mm -hmm. than other egg tarts. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense? Yeah, really good though. It's very mm. airy. Mm -hmm. The crust is very mm -hmm. airy. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that one was good. Good call on getting it. That concludes our bakery mukbang. California dancing. <laughs> Hello vlog. I'm at Tokyo Skytree again. This is my fourth time here. 
since I've been in Tokyo. But this time, TJ's with me. TJ hasn't been to Tokyo Skytree before, so we're going so she can check it out. And we're going to the Pokemon Center, which I didn't go to the other three times I was here, so. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait. We found it, it's right next to the Kirby Cafe. Look. <laughs> Look at this. So squishy and fluffy. Oh my God, ditto. Wow. Oh my God. So cute. Oh my gosh, we got these two cute buns. One is custard, one is meat. Look how cute they are. I like how in the wrapper it has a little chef's hat. I so know. it's like on his head. It's, on his head. <laughs> it's so cute. We also got this drink. It's a lemonade. And look, it comes with this cute Kirby straw. <laughs> Wait, I kind of look like Kirby. The what? resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> Stir, stir, stir. Wow, it's jelly. It's a jelly inside. Yeah. So it's like not even really a drink. Yeah, it's like a jelly snack, basically. Interesting. Kind of they kind of have this um, in jelly cafes in like SoCal. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like the Korean jellies? It's like Chinese jelly. Oh, Chinese jelly. Oh, Bin right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. So you think similar to this, huh? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. Hmm. Not bad. It just tastes like a normal jelly. It does have like fresh mango chunks on the bottom, which is nice. I'm surprised they call this a lemonade because it's not giving lemonade. Like it, there's no lemon flavor. This tastes like a sweet jelly with mango. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not mad at it. Like I would drink the whole thing. It's really nice. They also have a Harry Potter store, literally steps away from the Kirby Cafe and the Pokemon Center. So we're checking it out. Look how pretty these Christmas wreaths are and a Christmas tree with the ornaments. So pretty. And they also have all the flags here. We got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Okay, we are at the revolving sushi bar. As you can tell, we went ham. And TJ has her setup, and I also have my setup. And we keep like alternating. So I'll try one thing for mine, and then she'll try one thing for hers. And then we just keep taking turns. <laughs> just content creator things. <laughs> all right, these are all the plates that we ate. So now we put them in the slot. So every five plates that we put in, we get to play a game. Here comes our next game. Oh my gosh. Oh, did, did we, we get something? Did we win? Did we win? Uh, no English, so. No English. <laughs> Maybe we won, but. But we don't know. Yeah, well, I guess we have to go over there. Don't okay, we? sure. So we are gonna scan the QR code here and it gives us one play. This. All right, you do it. You Ready? do it. <laughs> oh, it's happening. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you can't read the directions. <laughs> They're in Japanese. Oh, nice. You got one. I think you hit anything. Oh, oh. Wait, this is fun. Wait, did it give a toy? Yeah. Oh, it did. It did. It did. I want some. We got a toy. Wow. 
for the details of my reaction, go to her channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a button. It's a button. Oh, cute. That was Yay. great fun. That was a fun experience. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Wow, this market has so much stuff. You have all this beauty products, and then there's a whole drink section here. And then here you have like charcuterie board meat and stuff. Look at all this stuff, all the cheese. And then there's like pre-made sides and stuff. They even have spring rolls. And then they have like hot meals that you can buy. I think you have to reheat them, but they're all already made. And then right on top of that, there's all these cup noodles too. There's katsu. They got chicken karage and oh my gosh, this whole sushi section. Wow. Look at this. Just rows and rows and rows of sushi. Wow, this roll has 12 pieces, 596 yen. I want to say that's like $4 ish. Look at these 12 pieces of nigiri for $6.98. That might be like five ish dollars. We got all these bentos, literally bento galore. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Even yakitori. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love yakitori. Got a whole bakery section. This market is next level. <gasps> oh my gosh, egg salad sandwiches. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, no way. They even have fruit sandwiches. And then downstairs at the market, they have all this produce. Like we got dragon fruit, look how vibrant it is. And then what I really wanna try is these strawberries. So I think I'm gonna grab one of them on my way out. Hello vlog, I am back at the hotel and I wanted to do a little haul for you guys because I bought, eh, I don't wanna say a lot of stuff, but kind of a medium amount of stuff. First, I did end up getting the strawberry sando from the supermarket i think the name of the supermarket is called life and it's funny because on the outside of the supermarket it says thanks for coming to life <laughs> i thought that was funny but anyway look at that oh my gosh mm, crunchy and juicy strawberries the whipped cream soft and the bread is also super soft too you can't go wrong then on the topic of strawberries i actually bought some strawberries <laughs> they smell so sweet and nice. Mm. I'm gonna grab one. I'm gonna wash this. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the rest back in the fridge. All right, my washed strawberry. Look at how rich the red color is. It's so vibrant. Let's give it a try. Mmm, it is really good. It's crunchy, it's sweet. It's not like the sweetest strawberry I've ever had, but it is really good. I don't think it's strawberry season right now, but the strawberries are still good. I will have no problem finishing that pack of strawberries. And that pack was 780 yen, which is about like $5-ish. So not too bad because I know in the US when you buy like Japanese strawberries, you get six for like $12 or something. I don't know. They're very expensive. And then TJ bought some oranges, so she gave me one because they look so good. Well, I guess it's a tangerine or a mandarin orange. Are they the same? I don't know. But one thing we noticed is that all of their produce looks so vibrant. Like their tomatoes were like so bright red. The carrots were super orange and shiny too. It was so weird. I've never seen carrots like that before, but like in a good way, you know? Ooh, it's releasing that tangerine smell. It reminds me of Soren over California when they have that part that smells like tangerines or oranges. We got our tangerine. Mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. It's really good. Juicy, sweet. It's a little tart, but really sweet and really juicy. Mmm, it's good. And then a few other things I grabbed from the Life supermarket. I got this tiny Snoopy cup noodle or ramen. Look how cute it is. I love Snoopy, so I had to get it. It has Snoopy and Woodstock. I have no idea what the flavor is because I can't read any of it. I guess I could Google translate it, but anyway. I got that and then I also got this 
Pokemon one. Pikachu! <laughs> I also don't know what flavor this is. Oh, I think it has little Pikachu uh, fish cakes in there. Look at that. How cute! Yeah, I'm gonna bring these home. And then I saw this at the checkout line. I think they probably sell something like this in the US, but anyway, I just saw it at the checkout line and it reminded me of Bird, so I bought it so that I could give it to him. It's gummy Lego blocks. I thought they were really cute. And yeah, it reminded me of Bird, so I just grabbed it. And then of course, I found the mints, the peach mints. So I bought three packs. Yay! <laughs> then at the Tokyo Sky Tree Marketplace, I stopped by this really cute store and they had this little Totoro pouch. It's like a little coin pouch. See? And I've been looking for a coin pouch, so I thought it was perfect. I was looking for a coin pouch that I liked at the Studio Ghibli store, but I didn't find one. So when I saw this at that cute little store, I had to grab it. <laughs> and then from that same cute store, I bought these little Pokemon keychains, I guess? I mean, it doesn't have a key ring, but yeah. This is Charmander, we got Squirtle, we got Pikachu and Bulbasaur. It's funny because we went to the Pokemon Center and they had so many things like this, but I ended up buying it at that other store. I think it was probably cheaper slash I wouldn't have to wait in line to buy it because the Pokemon Center had a really long line to buy stuff. That always deters me from buying things because I don't want to have to wait in line to buy stuff. But anyway, I got these because my nephew loves Pokemon, but I can't remember which starter is his favorite. So I just got the three starters plus Pikachu because Pikachu is a classic. So yeah, I bought a little gift for my nephew. And then I also stopped by Matsukio. It's like a drugstore, like a CVS. And so I picked up some like cosmetic products. Actually, most of them are ones that TJ showed in her haul <laughs> in the last vlog, I believe. But I got these two eyeliners. One of them's black and one of them's like a blackish brown. I figured why not try both and see what color I like more. And then I also, from the same brand, got their mascara. It's a black mascara. TJ also recommended this. <laughs> and then I also got a hand cream, which is not the one that TJ got, but it's the same brand. And I think it's pretty similar, but I got this one because it has such a cute little drawing on it. I think that's Miffy, right? Yeah, that's Miffy. So Miffy's on there. <laughs> anyway, that concludes my haul. I'm going to do my whole night routine, which is to import my clips, log everything that we did today, log the prices, log the locations, all that like admin stuff. And then I'm gonna shower and hopefully go to sleep early because I have not been sleeping a lot in general on this trip. And I woke up super early this morning. So I'm thankful that we got back pretty early today. We got back around 8 p.m. and we're not starting tomorrow until 11 a.m. So hopefully I get a good amount of sleep tonight. I'm, I'm really hoping and praying. So yeah, I'm gonna do my night routine and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello vlog! <laughs> As you can tell, it's very busy behind me. I am at a mall food court because TJ is filming a fast food video of stuff that you can only get in Japan. So I'm here to help and also try the food too because I'm curious. So yeah, our first stop is KFC. I know we're also gonna go to Wendy's because I love Wendy's boba. It's so good. I think we might do a few other chains as well. So yeah, we're gonna eat. Should be fun. Nice. It's here. The food is here. <laughs> we're gonna film. We got egg tarts. There's like a wrap in there, pepper, mayo, something wrapped. There's like garlic chicken, miso, miso garlic, miso garlic yeah, chicken. Yes. And then there's pot pies. And there's also a choco pie for dessert. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my gosh, you guys, at this mall, they have a Sanrio store. Ah, we have to go take a look. has been looking for a claw machine that she likes, so she's gonna try this one. Rila Kuma. All right, so the tips on mine is you gotta shake it around. Okay. And I think that was it. <laughs> Such a good tip. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, it's okay. You'll, you'll get one one day, I, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, she's gonna try her luck with this. Pursuing with, your dreams. With this cat one, they're so empty. Wait, what did I just do? Did you put enough money? Yeah, one time, one try. Oh, maybe that. Oh my God, you paid for that one. What is that? Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel good about this. 
Okay. I forgot about this. Yeah. Oh, oh, that didn't, that didn't. Oh, no. okay. oh, oh, oh my, oh, that's okay. You'll get one, I'm sure, I'm sure you will. At the basement of this mall, there's this Life Supermarket, which is the same supermarket that we went to yesterday, which I didn't even realize, but Michael told us that the sushi here is really, really good and that we should try it. We are at Don Quixote, which is kind of like um. How would you describe the store? Just have everything in it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just an everything store. It's so packed. Every inch of this place has stuff to look at. We got beauty, and TJ's looking at the fragrance stuff. But they also have hella clothes, accessories. They have a whole Sanrio section. There's also food and snacks. I already grabbed this lychee gummy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm here because I need to find a suitcase because I want to buy a suitcase. I'm just worried that when I go to Disney, I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff and I won't have enough suitcase space. So I'm going to buy an extra luggage. Definitely when you're in Japan, check out Don Quixote. They have like everything you could ever think of. Look at all this Sanrio stuff. This is all stuff I saw at the Sanrio store. It's probably cheaper here at Don Quixote. They even have these Instax cameras. Look how cute they are. And then they even have these ones which i actually have not seen before they really have everything here they have electronics they got purses scarves and this thing is like three floors and each floor looks like this look at this whole luggage section wow all right i think i decided on this one it's like a medium size and it's this cute like pastel purple color we're going to wendy's walk, walk, walk. walk into wendy's walk into wendy's <laughs> What are your thoughts on Wendy's boba? It was really, really good, actually. The, this matcha one was delicious. So it's good. What I expect at a matcha cafe. Yeah. <laughs> like a like, really fancy one, but it's here. And the boba is very chewy. Too. Yes, yes. The boba texture is on point. So that one, the matcha one, was the best one. But then we also got this oolong milk tea with strawberry boba. The strawberry boba was really good. And the boba itself is strawberry flavored, which is nice. But the only thing is that the oolong milk tea part, it tasted like water. It was like so diluted. Yeah. But it goes to show, just because you make good Good boba doesn't mean you make good milk tea, you know? Each one is its own form of art. And then we also got this hojicha brown sugar one, which was pretty good too. I really like the hojicha flavor. This one, the boba texture wasn't quite as good as the one with the matcha, which I think is confusing because I'm pretty sure they use the same boba for those two. So I don't know. But anyway, we did our little boba review. Check out the review on TJ's channel and on my main channel too. And then what are we doing now? Oh, we're gonna have dinner at this Yukatsu place. It's like katsu, but it's beef inside, and then you also like use a little stone grill to like yeah, cook it, yourself. right? Yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you guys, we stumbled across this like arcade looking place, and then look, all the claw machines. All right, TJ, this is your time. <laughs> oh my god, these huge curries! There's a lot so one. I wonder if he smells like strawberries. Come on. <gasps> Wait, what? You totally got it. But oh then God. it was like, nope. <gasps> oh my God. 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 Wait, what the heck? No. It's it's caught. It's right there. Yeah. This is all I want in life. I don't want anything else. This is her one wish. <laughs> oh wow, well, yeah! Oh my god, yay! <laughs> the way that we're so happy over this tiny thing. I spent so much money. I know you did. It's okay, you won, dude. I won. Wow. So nice. Cute. So cute. Look at and my cat. it looks like your cat. I know, yeah. I know, I know. yeah. Mochi and sesame. We just had a delicious dinner. 
Now we will walk around the mall. <laughs> but really, the food was so good. <laughs> Guys, at the top floor of the mall, they have a Muji and it takes up the whole top floor. They have everything here. They have like the stationery, they have home organization, they have like body care, beauty products, incense, bedding, towels, clothes, everything. And it's so nice to come across a Muji because all the US Muji stores closed. So I can really only get my Muji fix here. <laughs> Hello vlog, I am back at the hotel. I just finished hanging out with TJ and it's our last time we're gonna see each other for the rest of the trip and also she lives in LA and I live in the Bay Area so like we don't see each other that often. But yeah, it was really nice for us to hang out and like, I don't know, these past few days have been really nice and I'm just very thankful to have her as a friend. But anyway, after dinner we went to walk around the mall and we went to Muji and I bought some stuff. So let's do, well actually I don't know if I can really do a haul but I'll try. The reason I said I can't really do a full haul is because I bought some like ceramic stuff and they wrapped it up for me. So I don't want to like undo their nice packaging, but I bought like two plates, maybe three. <laughs> I forget. And I bought a lot of these little like sauce dishes because I thought they were so cute. So yeah, I can't really unwrap all the plates and show you guys, but I did get a few more things. I got lots of wooden utensils. So I have a spoon, a fork. I already have a lot at home, but I could always use more, I guess. At least that's what shopping me thought apparently. <laughs> so I got two more spoons, three spoons and one fork, but each spoon is a different size. And I thought this one was so cute. Look how tiny it is. And then Muji is also known for their pens to be really good so I got like six pens because they had like one in 0.3, one in 0.5, and one in 0.7 so I got two of each just to try them out and they sealed it up for me in this bag so I don't really know if I should uh, take it out of the bag. At Don Quixote I got these lychee jelly, oh no no, lychee gummies so I wanted to try these. Oh wow, look at that, it's red. I know lychee on the outside like the skin is red but lychee flavored things are usually white. Oh okay let's give it a try. Wait, what? It's such an interesting texture. There's like a gummy layer on the outside that's harder and then like a jelly layer on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, can you see that there's different layers in there? I've never had a gummy like that before. It's like a gummy wrapped around a jelly gummy. If that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here and I might as well sprinkle a giveaway in here. So to enter the giveaway, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you get notifications, thumbs up this video. And for the giveaway question of the day, let me know your favorite boba shop because I was just thinking about Wendy's Boba and how it might actually be my favorite boba place in Japan. I haven't tried that many here, but anyway. And I know some of you guys might not have tried boba before. So if that applies to you, let me know what kind of boba drink you would want to try. Like milk tea, fruit tea, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And again, if you win, I will reply to your comment. But if anyone replies to your comment, make sure to click the profile and check that it's actually me with a verified check mark and with all my videos there. Please don't get scammed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!